guys, good to come your way again. My name is Abigail Senasis. We a warm welcome to another episode of Dreams TV. It's been a while we came your way, but we are wrapping up the first round of the ongoing 2021 2022 Ghana Premier League season has been a topsy turvy journey, if you ask me, because we have the results, sometimes we have not. But you know, we say that it's been a good first round, and we ended on a high, we went to Takwa, the most dreaded grounds you've never picked a point before but then we came back home with all three points after the game was rained off and moved to the next day so there's a lot to talk about on this particular episode so stick and stay with me i'll be right back Thank you for staying with us here on Dreams TV. So if you're in the diaspora and uh, any part of the country and you'd want to reach us, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on YouTube, we're on Twitter, however you want to reach us on any of our social media handles. Just drop your comment, your feedbacks, what you want us to talk about, what you want to see, anything, and we are at your service. So let's begin with some updates, but not the best of news I would like to convey, but maybe you might have heard Head from other sources but i'm telling you officially here on dreams tv and um, dreams have parted ways with vladislav Viric after serving the club diligently one year although he's fond of us but he thinks that it's time to move on and so he's moving on to other endeavors and we wish him very well and so our technical director abdul karim Zuzo took over um the last game and got us that victory from Takwa. Talking about that game, I'm sure we'll be getting you highlights very soon. But Dream Stamale are in action. Still believe, unfortunately, lost 3-0 to um, mobile phone people in the ongoing division to greater Accra league and so it continues this weekend but the senior team can afford some break because we have just a week to resume the second round of the ongoing Ghana Premier League season. You're back on Dreams TV with me, Abigail Senesu. So like I said earlier, it was a peaceful journey we made to Takwa, but we couldn't play that game on Sunday, just last Sunday, because it was some heavy rains in Takwa and its environs, and so the game was rained off. We came back on Monday morning at 10 a.m., and we were in full swing, and we gave Midyama SC that 1-0 defeat, painful one, on the last day of the first round. And so we got that three points and we lie ninth now on the league log after match day 70. Let's take some highlights. We are back for more news.
Drift TV is available on all of our social media handles on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. And so just stay in touch with us, however and wherever you are. But there are some moments we would not want to forget after 17 rounds of matches, some faces that have left, some that gave us good, good, good games before leaving to join clubs elsewhere. So let's take a wrap of how Dreams FC fared in the first round.
Well, on the far side, it looks like Dreams have uh, gotten a goal. 11 wonders. Oh, what a finish. He was committed, and that is the equalizing goal. Oh! There, yeah, look at Odru. Very, very decent play. Intelligent cross again. And look at goalkeeper Richmond Ayi in a no man's land. I think I look at what happens to this move as Dreams FC come forward. That is the second goal. Dreams FC have torn apart the defense. as they come forward, this is Mohamed Can he go around his mark out through the legs. That's nice. Gets in the cross. The finishing is perfect for Dreams FC. It is Abu Bakar who went past Adams with ease through the legs and brilliant delivery. There, he him to finish show him clinical. Getting his coaching uh, credentials. But still involved actively in the game. Ball goes straight into the net. Well, super That's goal. Count. Yeah, it is a super goal. Okay, because the referee, you know, had the hand up. So I was thinking that uh, he must have seen something. Max Alata with that incisive cross. Yeah. Just look at where Ejenim came from, pounced on that ball. He didn't even get a full, clear touch on that ball. Samoa Boachi now putting pressure on Alex. He gets the better of him. He sends in the cross. He does well to get it again. And a third time. And he's lucky. Smashed that ball on the blind side of goalkeeper Manti. Here he went for the pass. The defending was not the best. Here he went for the pass again. But look at that hit. Straight through the legs of uh, the defenders and goalkeeper is not saving that.
from all the action that went on in the last 17 weeks, let's go globe trotting and see what our talents are also doing now. Then, so Cletus Nombel scored his first goal for Harpel Fat Saba in the Israel Premier League, and Leonardo Wusu also scored for his side, the Vancouver White Cubs, who are in pre season at the moment. Um, striker Peshaw's Boa um, has left on loan to Hanan Leif from Esperanza de Tunis in the Tunisian Premier League as well. And Suleiman Mohamed made his debut for Rio Ave under 23 after joining the team last month from Dream Football Club. And um, Baba Rahman is in action for his side as well. So Drips TV is available on all of our social media handles. If you are not in Ghana, you're in the diaspora, wherever you are, and you want to stay in touch with your Premier League side, get us on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, on Twitter, and on TikTok as well. Just drop those your feedback, and we will be ready to read and answer them all. But I leave you with this on Friday. There's some football in the Greater Accra Division 2 League, and still believe will be up in action. Dream Tamale is also up in action this weekend. And so... Um, just doing football club, I mean, the Premier League side is on break, but the other branches are up and doing. We wish them there very well this weekend. We are back to talk more about your club and every other thing that you want to know. But on a rather sad note, I want to remind you that we are preparing to lay Grandpa decide to rest later next weekend. And so you can keep your condolences coming. And for Mazia also, too, um, our former board chairman, that is uh, Mr. Ket Edwin Simeon Okaku and the family, we say our deepest condolences and we will be there to support as we lay Grandpa decide to rest. But hey, it's time to take leave of you. My name is Abigail Sanoso. So thank you very much for being a part of us. And so was the first one, but second stay because there's a lot to unfold in the last 17 games and still believe. <laughs>